All right, boys, so what's up? We're here with the full in-depth Ray Satchel guide. I'm going to go over literally everything with this ability. I said I was going to make it during my Ray's guide, which is my most popular video, which thank you all, by the way. But yeah, I might as well go over completely the Satchel, just everything about it, how to like fly with it, what you can do with it. Like, It's like the best ability in the game. It's legit. I think it's the most versatile ability in the game. Very, very, very strong. So yeah, we'll just jump into it. If you don't know who I am, I'm an Immortal 3, Raze Jetman, some Neon in there too, and yeah, let's just jump into it. Alright, so real quick, before we get into it, 85% of you aren't subbed, so if you like watching my content, you want to help me out, please hit the sub button below, and uh, yeah, let's just go. Alright, so we'll just start off, complete basic here, and then we'll just continue to get like more advanced. So, first of all, you know, you just got your one satchel, right? You know, you run, you jump on it. Pretty, pretty simple. If you've played Raze, you probably know. And when you do this, you know, you can do all sorts of things, even just with this. You, know, you can jump on boxes, jump up stuff, just get faster, you go way faster than running. You know, you jump up stuff, and the only thing I can really say with this is jump when you run over the satchel, and then blow it up about like halfway through your jump, if you want speed, like that. And you're going to need this for when you're doing double satchels. And if you want height, then kind of just before you start falling, or even a little bit earlier, you kind of want to like propel yourself up like that, you know what I mean? So if you like jump and then you stop, and then you satchel, look, I'll show you. you it won't really, it won't really work. Right? It'll be like, okay, but it's not as good. So what you want to do is like, at the near the end of your jump, like before you start falling, you want to blow up the satchel then. For like jumping on top of things. Some things can be like kind of hard to get on top of like, because they're a little bit too tall for like, especially for like run jump like this. I mean, I kind of made it there, but like a little taller boxes like this, like you won't, it's harder to make it up. Whereas if you like jump on the center of the satchel, you got a lot more height. So that's a thing you need to understand with the satchel. The further away you are from it, the more speed you'll get. The closer you are to the middle, the more height you'll get. You see that? So when I jump, go over here, I get way more speed. When I jump like this, I get way more height. That's like the basics of the satchel there. And now we'll go over the classic, the fun one, the double satchel, right? So the double satchel is basically a combo of just the single satchel plus... The, okay, obviously it's two satchels, no shit. But it's like... You need to, it's all about the second satchel, the first satchel, whatever, you know? The second satchel is really where people get confused, I think. So, you know, you do your standard stuff like this with the one satchel, and then your second one, you'll see, if I point all the way down, I'll just go, like, really fast. Not much else to it, I'll just go really fast. Whereas if I start looking up a little bit more, getting more height, you can see I got way too much height there. Now I can get up here. If I, if I look straight down, there's no way I'll get up here. You can see, like, from high ground, you can really see it. It doesn't even work there. Like, if the looking straight down is almost never, like, the play. You want to kind of look around here most of the time. So you can get that nice. You usually want one for speed, one for height. Uh, if you're going from a high ground, that won't work. If you're going from, like, a very high place, it's usually your first one for speed. And then the second one, you can go for height. Now, I have, like, a little, a little, um... Like practice course I usually do here. Just like sometimes whenever I'm warming up. Alright, so yeah, this is a little satchel course I'm usually doing. And see, I'm just starting over there, going for the nice double satchel over. And yeah, I'm usually just doing this as like a little warm-up, trying to get my movement flowing. Like it's not it's not that hard for like if you're experienced at raise, but it can definitely help you out. Like if you can like just do like a few loops of this, you know, it might it might help you out a little bit. Because especially that uh, that really long satchel, like, it can help you try and get the the speed and height you kind of need. And you might, you'll probably, hopefully, pick it up pretty easy, but yeah. yeah. I usually I usually do it just warming up, just trying to get those satchels down. So the thing, like, the only thing you can see that you really need with this is... It's all about where you look, and it's very much a feel thing with the, with the like... Trying, like, you see there, I, I wanted to get more height to land here, so I have to look up more. If you look straight down, you'll just go far, like. But usually you don't have enough. 
uh, airtime to keep that momentum. So that's why it's usually not right. Like, you kind of want that second one to boost you up a little bit. Just get you off the ground. So it's all about where you look. Just fuck with it a little bit. Like, you kind of want to be looking... Just look where I'm looking and think about that. And then, like, optimize it from there. That will give you a good baseline. You don't want it, like, insta-insta blow it up. Like, you see, I'm not just going bam-bam. You know what I mean? I'm not just blowing my load and just going crazy. It's like a boom, boom. You know what I mean? Boom, boom. Satchel. So that's like, that's the double satchel. It is, it's like, it can take some time to get used to, but you get a real good feel for it. So don't, don't give up on it. You can always just watch this back and you can see kind of how I'm flying around here. And the way you can go about it and if you want more like tips on the movement i do have a movement guide which i'll leave like a little annotation there but yeah the only other thing with this is if you do get a lot of speed you can bunny hop and keep your momentum a little bit so that's a pretty good one and that's pretty much everything with just the the movement here but we'll go on to another part now so with the one satchel, the actual best thing I would say with it is not even just doing this. Like the most useful one satchel is stuff like this. Or you can just fly about the place. You can go backwards as well. Or just propel yourself like in all these different directions. You can literally do it every which way. And why, why is this useful? It's useful for like... Dodging abilities, getting out of cover. Like, let's say you're you're stuck in a little corner. I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and move over to a map so I can show you better. Alright, so let's say you are just stuck in a little corner. Let's say you're playing here on Catwalk, you know, you're stuck here. And there is a chamber over here and he's just, he's holding you with an op, right? You can either just run across like this, you're dead. You can sit in the corner and then, let's say, I don't know, Brimstone mollies you or something, you're dead. Or you can just fly out like that. Now, uh, what, what are you gonna do? You know, like, you can... You can do this. The other thing you can also do... You know, you just pop it out like that. You just jump away. And it's very, very hard shot to hit. If he hits you, fair play. Other thing you can do... Is you can kind of play, like, a mini jet with an op. If you see... I, I don't mind opping on raise. I kind of like it. But yeah, you can, like, let's say, you, like, peek top mid here, and then you just satchel out. The thing is, with this, you kind of want to jump, because you get more momentum. Like, if you just do this, you get you don't go as far. Because if you do this, you know how much farther you go. You really want to start bunny hopping at the end of it as well. Keep that momentum a little bit. So yeah, you can, like, play with an op here. Jump your, jump your way out. You can even do it like this if you want, but it's a lot more predictable. It doesn't, you see, it didn't really work that well. And they can also shoot it, so it's a lot, it's a lot harder to do something like that. Unless you just... Jump in, jump out, kind of thing. Pretty, pretty useful tip. Just, you're way more mobile. If you ever get caught off guard, you can kind of do this. Like, let's say you can, like, play over here on heaven, and then a guy peeks you, you kill him, and just satchel out. You know what I mean? Very useful to get used to it. And, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Alright, so like I said before, you can boost yourself with the satchel on top of these little boxes. You can do it on all the maps. You know, you run, jump up, just do that. When you're going for the boost, you usually want height, so don't, like, don't stand too far away from the center. Otherwise, you won't really go up. Make sure you're just kind of standing on the satchel. But if you stand, like, directly on it, you can see what happens. You'll go, like, just straight up, and you won't really move. So just be careful. You kind of want to, like, push yourself up like that. You know what I mean? You'll, you'll be able to land it a lot uh, easier. Because sometimes if you've played Rays, you've like fell off a box before. It's very annoying. You can also boost your teammates on top of little things. Like, um, you know, on Bind, on A site, you can boost your teammates on top of that little box. And yeah, you can boost your teammates a little bit. Pretty good. You can also just boost your boom bot. Which I've never really found a use for, but it's there, you know. You can... You can stick the satchel on the boom bot too, and he just flies away. I don't know, you can like try and one-shot combo somebody if they, uh... If they want, if, if you want to do that, I don't know. 
It's it's very hard to even do, so I, I don't know. If you can find a use for that, like, send me a clip, because it's pretty fun. You know, you see, you just stick it on them. He goes away. He goes crazy with it. <laughs> if, you, if you hit a clip, like, stick it on the on the Boomba, that'd be pretty good. I'd like to see that. Join the Discord and send me that, because that'd, that'd be funny. Uh, yeah, that's like... That's a lot of the, the boosting things with the satchel. So, yeah. The other things you can do is... You can boop the enemies off the bomb, which is pretty interesting. Like, you can also just boop the enemies. Now, this is this is very, very good. I'll, I'll see if I can find a clip of me doing this, but sometimes, instead of, like, going for, like, a satchel peek and going to kill the guy, you can just, like, toss a satchel at him. Uh, this guy, you toss a satchel at him, see the way it moves him a little bit? It'll fuck up his accuracy. And then you can just kill him. But especially if you can get it under them, they start bouncing. And they're completely inaccurate. And you just get yourself a nice little free kill. That's one thing I really like doing to people. Like, because sometimes the satchel peak gets a little bit predictable. So you can just boop them as you peak. You know, you toss it out real quick. Then you peek them and you just kill them as you blow it up. It's really, really annoying to play against. Like the enemy, they don't know what to do about it. And yeah, that's pretty useful. And the, getting people off the bomb. I remember people started like knowing about this. Uh, I can't remember which pro did it. I'll see if I can find the clip of the pro player who... Uh, I think it was against Fnatic, was it? It was against someone anyway. I don't know. But um, someone was uh, booping them off the bomb so they couldn't plant. And this is like such a good stall tactic. Like it's such a such a strong little stall tactic you can do. Just keep booping them off the bomb and if they're low on time, like they can't actually do it. Like you boop them like when they're almost finished planting and then they just... They can't do anything. Like, you can stall for so long with this. You can turn the spike plant from, like, 4 seconds into, like, 10. Which is a lot longer. So, yeah, you got that one. And you can also nade the bomb afterwards. Like, Ray's really good at stopping the, stopping the plant. And, yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna go over, like, types of satchel peaks. And we'll go ahead and spawn these guys. Because it's easier to peek them one by one. So you've got like your most bog standard satchel peak is the one like most people are doing. You kind of toss your satchel around here, kind of like in this mid area, and you just peek. Fly out with it, and you go for a kill. Just like that. You just leave it there, and you follow the movement, and then counter strafe with the the wide swing, and it's just a very very wide swing, right? That's like the most bog standard satchel peak you've seen. You know, you do both sides. Whatever. And then I'm gonna go over now the bunny peak. Right, if you've been watching my channel, you know, like, big fan of bunny. And I've seen him doing these, uh, like, peaks, these weird peaks. Where he was just, like, flying out of cover like this. He just flies out and then kills a guy. And it's like, whoa, that was so quick. You see how much, like, I think it's much, much better to do this style of peak than the, uh, like, the standard one. The way you do this peek is you toss your satchel right here. Since I'm peeking the right, I'll toss it to my top left. Right here. And then you jump, move to the right, counter strafe as you land, and then boom. You just get a super wide swing, and your head is at a really weird height, so they can't pre-fire you. Sometimes when you do this peek, you get pre-fired, and you just drop. Whereas when you do this, you have like so much more... Like, they need to hit the craziest flick of all time. And you see how much faster it is? Way, 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 way faster. So, I would recommend doing this peak from now on. I think it's much, much stronger than just the standard satchel peak. Because I think most people know how to play against this peak as well. So, like, they'll just, like, hold their crosshair really wide, and then they'll just one-tap you. So, if you do this, you, like, you move your head in a weird way. You're also way faster. And I think you can shoot slightly faster as well. So yeah, I'd recommend doing... I, I just dubbed it the bunny peak. I, I don't know, we'll call it that from now on. We'll just call it the bunny peak. It, sa it sounds cool. Okay, so the other thing I'm just gonna go over here is... A satchel does do damage. Like, it, it is not... It's not, like, crazy immense as like it used to be. You used to be able to just toss satchels at people like this and kill them. It was pretty funny and broken. But, you know, we're not in the, we're not in the glory days of raids anymore. So, yeah, the satchel does do damage. But it's, like... It, it needs to be primed. 
So, this is what I mean. Look, if I toss a satchel at this guy, it's gonna do 15 damage. On his face, it's doing 15 damage, you know? It's 15, 15, whatever. Whereas if you toss it, and now I want you to listen, okay? I'm gonna turn up the volume for this. If you listen... Satchel out. You hear that first beep? Now it's just 50. Just the first beep. Satchel out. Now it's just 50. If I blow it up any earlier, it's still Satchel doing 50. Satchel out. That first beep tells you it's primed, right? Satchel out. Boom, it's in 50. So you want to wait for it to do that. Satchel out. And you get like... Satchel out. You still hear it over here, you know what I mean? You can really hear how loud that one beep Satchel is. Out. So if you are using it for damage, wait for that little beep and you can Satchel do it. Like, I'm not, I don't know how long it exactly takes. Seems like 0.5 seconds or something. It's not that long. Satchel out. But it's only Satchel after out. it lands. Like it doesn't matter like if it's in the air for this long. You see, it still has that first beep. Satchel out. Satchel out. You see, it's still 15 damage, so you need to wait for it to prime. And then you can do a lot of damage. Now, what is this useful for? Holding chokes, it can be so impactful. I'm gonna have a clip as well of me doing this. Like, just, whenever you run, like, your first thing to do is raise is usually nade the choke, right? You know, if the enemies are trying to rush in, you're on defense, nade the choke, they're fucked. After the nade is over, then they can go in again. So then you toss a satchel and do the same thing. Wait for the prime, blow him up in the choke. And then you toss your other satchel, wait for the prime, blow him up in the choke. And it does so much damage. You toss a boomba in there somewhere as well. It is crazy, man. The amount of stopping power you have as raids, like, it's so good. This is why this agent is the best duelist in the game. Like, all your utility is so fucking good compared to every other duelist. Like, the satchel is... Probably the best ability in the game, debatably. No, maybe, maybe not. Chamber, chambers in the game, but it's one of the best. Like, it's it's so versatile. You can see how much I can talk about this one ability. Like, it's nuts. Alright, so I'm just editing here. I did forget to mention with the satchel, you can. I'll show you the animation cancel. I've said this in my raise guide before, but I, I can want to mention it here as well. So with the ultimate, right? I've got some comments about this as well. With the ultimate. Even though I know it's Satchel guy, but whatever, you know, Satchel ult, they go hand in hand. So, if you, like, you'll see players do this, right? And they'll get the fucking slowest ult in the world, okay? You know, it's it's not good. Like, imagine you do this out in the open. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. So, there is two ways to use this, right? There's only two ways that I would say. Is, you can go for the... Instant shoot your ultimate. Let's say, you know, oh, it's hard to explain here, but let's say you need to, like, you need to jump over this wall and kill this guy, right? The best way is to, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it slow first, then I'm gonna do it fast. So you wanna ult, satchel, wait a second, jump, and then shoot. You have to wait that little second because there is a delay. You'll see if I do it straight away. See that delay? So you wanna ult, satchel, boom. You can shoot instantly, you're not even in any danger, right? So that's the one way, is you... Ult, satchel, wait a sec, jump, boom. Instant, instant. If you Rosa with this, then you're probably me. But... Um, the other way is if you want to go for the double satchel rocket. And this is very good from like high ground, so like... Let's say, you know, like around here. You see that? It's about... Ult, or it's not about ult first. It's about run, jump, satchel, ult, satchel. Okay. So you want to satchel, you want to ult mid between your two satchels. So it's satchel, ult, satchel. So and that will look like you know this. And the reason high ground is so good is because you see if I do it on an even ground here, I usually fall before I can get my. My second one off or i go really slow because i need too much height it's kind of decent there you usually want height with this unless this is why high ground is so good because you can go for speed as well and you can just fuck people up like that that's how you get the clean raise rockets that don't look janky as fuck because like if you do two satchels ult it'll look like this then you're looking terrible like that, that you're dead if you do that if you ever do that you're dead Whereas if you do it the other way, like I just did, you'll you'll kill a couple of people. So I just wanted to mention that before I ended the video. And the last thing I'm going to talk about here is... Raze has this thing where her satchel doubles in damage against, like, utility. 
So like any util that you can kill, like a um a cipher trip, which is one health, so it doesn't matter. That's why you see people spamming the jokes with uh satchels. Like you can break all the cipher trips and stuff. Uh killjoy turrets, killjoy lockdown. You can actually one shot killjoy lockdown with this one satchel. Uh Sage Wall, if it's in the like before, do you know before it gets the full HP, you can one shot the Sage Wall. Afterwards, after it loses that like extra bit of health, it will two shot it. So you need both satchels. You have to wait for them to prime again. You always have to wait for it to prime to get max damage, remember that. Yeah, any utility you can kill pretty much. Like you can do so much with the with the raised satchel. Mainly like the big two are like Killjoy Lockdown, uh Sage Wall, and like Sentinel Utility. It's like before you enter a site, you know, you can go over and just spam uh satchels like where you expect some enemy utility and since the blast radius is so big you can just mop up sentinel utility so yeah they are like the big ones another weird one is here on ascent you can actually like one shot the door so both the doors have the same hp so i'm going to show you this real quick on this door so if you throw the satchel down here and let it prime it doesn't blow up the door but if you throw it up here it will actually one shot the door. I'm gonna prove it over here now. Just cause you know that you know they have the same, you know they have like they work the same, the same door, whatever, whatever. So same thing, if you throw it down here, it will just do half damage. Whereas if you throw it up here, one shots the door completely from full HP. You see me close it, one shots the door. So a bit of a weird one there. I'm not like exactly sure. I feel like Something weird up here. Maybe it's like counting as two doors. I, I don't really know why it one shots it, but hey, if you're playing Raze on Ascent, I forgot to mention this in my Ascent video for Raze, like the guide. So here you go. You're probably gonna, if you watch that video, you're probably gonna watch this one anyway. So, okay, a quick little tip for Ascent there. And yeah, also with this door, very, 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 very weird. I'm gonna just restart the round here and show you. Oh, yeah, so like I was saying, on this side of this door, it's very weird. See, the satchel doesn't do any damage. Literally, it's doing nothing. Even on this part of the door, it doesn't it doesn't do anything. Very, very buggy, but if I throw it, like, near this, like, this second thing, one shots the door. So, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. Some, some riot spaghetti code here. So, you want to throw it kind of, like, on the second light there. And on this one... You could literally throw it above the door and you'll one shot it. I'll show you here. One shots the door. So I I have no idea. This is this is very buggy, but abuse it. I don't think it's ever gonna get patched to be honest. Unless I completely ruin the community here and get this patched. If so, I'm gonna be pissed. All the raised maidens are gonna be pissed and they're gonna send hate my way. But all good. All good. Yeah, it also works on this. It doesn't work on this. Okay, it's just Riot, man. This is Riot. Riot Games being Riot Games. But anyway, yeah, most 99% uh, of things you can destroy, you can just toss a satchel at it, let it prime, and it will just fuck it up completely. Cool little passive that's not mentioned on the satchel. But yeah, that's going to be the video. So that's everything about the satchel. It's this much of an in-depth video for one ability. It's kind of crazy how, like, how much there is to this one single ability on raise. But yeah, if you like the video, like it. Thanks for watching, like, sub, all that stuff. You know, join the Discord as well. Follow me on Twitch. I'm streaming like most days. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later.